Hey guys, it's Matt from Armstrong Gaming here. We are back with Season 1 of XCOM. Um, as you can see, we've come back in from the last video where we are in a bit of strife. Um, I was having a look at the possibility of restarting. Um, I've decided against that. What I'm going to do instead is going to do this one to I'm completion. Receiving. We'll monitor that contact. But I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. And what I'm currently doing at the moment is reading my storage of items for the possibility of just surviving at the moment, trying to get a couple of satellites up and going. I can I've got none available and I've only got one more slot and I've got five countries that are gonna leave. Uh, ideally I wanna save Egypt because it'll give me the all-in bonus, but uh, how long until the next council mission? 16 days. Ah, uh, look, I'm going to lose five countries. Oh, hang on, I've got a satellite coming in, s up like in six days, and two satellites in 14. The new engineers Ooh, arrived this we morning, might be okay, We're but always not glad to have perfect. More help down here. Um, let's build... Alright, two satellites coming and one uplink coming. Uplink will give me at least two spots to put me to seven. Two uh, facilities. Build that. Alright, we might we might be okay. Alright, so building total five satellites over the next 20 days, and we should have enough, sorry, I'm just going to the right spot, facilities, because it's there, there, and then it gives us another two, so another three, and that'll give us another three, possibly another four. Alright, so we could be okay. How was this? I didn't notice. 14 days. Alright, cool. We might be okay. Well, let's just see how we go. I obviously don't want to start a new one, the so we've got a cancel mission popping up. And uh, the mission is Gankplank. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, rewards, two scientists, two engineers, then nothing spectacular. Excellent. We look forward uh, to seeing clear. your progress. I was just sort of having a look at everything. Sniper with 75, that's really not good enough. So, Richard Robinson is coming along, not you, because he's got ridiculous aim. Patel... Uh, Zahara's got better aim than Martinez does, and she's a lower ranking. So, Zahara's going to be our new sniper. Let's have a look at Mohammed. Uh, Victor's terrible. Olsen's terrible. Ranga's terrible. Yu Ying Zhao. Rookie, 80. Yu off. Uh, oh, and she's the last of them. Alright, so we're going to have to take two other guys who have the skills. Should be Thomas. Probably Zao. Yeah, Zao's got some good accuracy. His abilities. Uh, smoke grenade, hollow targeting, battle scanner, and sprinter. Well, he's not great. Um... Alright, so let's make items available, the loadout, carapace armor... Um, I don't care if you die. So let's do that. Martin needs the accuracy. But, um, yep. Zao doesn't need an accuracy bonus. She's got carapace armor on, pistol. I want her to survive, but also get kills. Let's put a frag grenade on. 
Uh, no, no, I said in the last mission that we're gonna, we weren't gonna be bringing Zahara along, but she's turned out to be a better shot than Martinez. So she's in, and Martinez is out. So that's gonna be our new squad for the moment until I get some more dudes. Um, and the reason I'm doing all this is based on my other series, which has just started, which is based Touching around down. aim. Um, we're heading into China where you want to get operation. as much aim out of all your guys as possible. Um, I've still got the training roulette on this one, so occasionally we're going to have a guy who turns out to be ridiculously good with aim, but, you know, nothing really else. Alright, so cutscene, let's enjoy. Oh wow, that was an epic cutscene. <laughs> it was just literally the flying in. Uh, so I've played Big this mission took before. Care of the delivery, but now comes the hard part. If we're oh, going to set that battleship sniper. down intact, Zahara. we'll have to start by disabling the power conduits uh, positioned across there? its surface. There's no telling what we're going to find up there, but we should expect heavy resistance from the alien forces manning that ship. New objective received. You can just see me putting my guys on Overwatch, um, just because there's no real point. Uh, of them doing anything else. Right so now I'm just gonna put him on Overwatch. And Mutton, I'm gonna leave you out in the Overwatch. open, but put you right in the doorway and you can burst through the door next turn. On Overwatch. Alright, so as you can see in the top right hand corner, power condensed remaining six. Um, you can either blow them up or disable them. Uh, because I'm short on Moving. explosives, I'm going to probably be Ashway disarming spotted. them manually. The conduits positioned on the surface of that battleship are tied directly into the ship's power grid. If we can disable the conduits or destroy them with explosives, it should put that thing out of commission, allowing us to seize its cargo without the risk of collateral damage. Yeah, when I hear, let's deactivate the power of the thing flying in the sky, all I hear is, so it's going to fall out of the sky and not cause collateral damage? Maybe I'm missing something. Alright, so it's one down. Zahara's not going to be able to do that move and shoot. Zao. He's not going to be able to get there. She hasn't got the movement. He hasn't got the movement. He's got the movement. Yes, Commander. Alright, so Zao. Or bonus as he's right now. Oh man, you're kidding. I'll leave him on a hit point. Who's good? I don't want to waste a grenade on this. So let's put Zahara there in case she needs to shoot next turn. Let's put Robinson Moving there. Out. And put Zal. On the move. I know she hasn't got much of it. Heads up, boys and girls. Intel suggests hostiles are headed right for you. Oh, that was a pretty dumb move. Um, I shouldn't have put her there. She didn't have cover, and Thin Men have some of the best aim in the game. So they tend to be able to hit pretty much anybody whenever they like. Alright, so she needs 100%. She needs kills because she's a rookie. So let's get her some. Neutralized. Don't need Martin to get a level up. Uh, no, Zahara's got a shot on. But I want to save her shot in case I move forward. Let him finish what he started. I know he's not the best guy to get experience to, but uh, whatever. So let's put him there. Uh, Sahara have squad side. I hope she does because. Alright, cool. Nice, Richard. Nice. He needs some kills as well, to be honest. No, she can't see him. Uh, let's move her there for the time being. Nope, still can't see him. Nice, neat. Thanks, game. I need to be able to see where I'm trying to put my guys. Yep, that'll do. 
But now she can see. Right, let's move Martin to Got there because he'll be able to see the bad guy as well, the sectoid. Excuse me, just a little bit. And 55% is better than nothing. And in this case, it's nothing. Just received some intel that hostiles are advancing on your location. Ready up. Uh, so they're moving forward, which will make our oh his shots and our shots a bit easier. Uh, don't kill her. Oh, thank you. Oh man, another guy on Overwatch. All right, she needs to kill. So does. just did seems to have stirred up the hornet's nest. The aliens are going to throw everything they've got at us to protect that ship. Um, Moving to designated let's move him there because that might give us a view on that alien without getting... No, didn't. I don't really want to move her too close. Double time. But that should be able to be give us close enough without risking an overwatch shot. No, I was wrong. Uh, he's got sprinter, that's why he can move so far. Now let's move into that corner. So we can get them close without getting them super close. Moving out. That's a safe path. Alright. Oh, that should give Zahara a shot. Oh no, he's moving again. Who's he aiming at? Oh, it's Martin. He's fine. Oh, that's not even Martin, that's Zal. Um, Zoo, sorry. She, she's got no shot. He's got a shot on. But standing right next to her, she doesn't. Uh, he moved and shot, so he can't shoot again. He's up there. Let's flank this SOB just a Move little in. bit. But using Zhao, because she needs levels. Alright, she also spots a couple more Thinmen. That's not good. Oh, but they're running away. Alright. Yes, I know I moved her up there for the specific reason that she killed him. But I need to be able to zoom out. There we go. Yeah, I can probably take him out with a rocket. Um, I need to move her away because she can get shot by the thin man and probably killed. Yes, Commander. So if this misses, I'm going to use the rocket. The reason I used the other guy to shoot first was that if he missed, he could have hollow targeting, which is an additional 10%. Um, I'm going to put her there, so that way next turn she can heal Zhao. And failing that, also move... Just trying to work out where I want to put him. I'm going to put him right Solid there. Copy, Commander. He's going to go up next turn and then drop down. Eyes peeled, strike one. Mm. So obviously I was just trying to get away from those thin men because they have really good aim. Uh, and I don't really want to give up my two rookies with the 80s. So now it becomes a little bit about troop manipulation because I've got two that are technically expendable and three who really aren't. 60, 100%. And that's just, you can see, the shot from there with 100% bye bye. aim. And that's just the benefits of having someone with a ridiculous aim score of 80, which is better than some of these lieutenants have. Uh, Moving. It just got hot in here. Alright, so he's got a couple shooting against him. I want to take out the Thinmen because they have ridiculously pain. 
So we're going to take out that one that's closest, and also we have the best chance of getting him with a 90%. We get the kill, which is beautiful. And I'm going to use Zahara to heal Zao. Just because she'll probably take a shot this turn. Alright, so Zoo needs to get moving. I want to put him high because elevation gives you bonuses to aim. So we're going to set him up for next time and also put him in the way of harm. So, oh, Overwatch down. Two of them. Takes three from one and zero from the other. And that's just because Thin Men have this ridiculous aim. They've got like 105 aim, which rivals a Colonel Sniper when not using, not created equal and hidden potential like I am. Uh, so, all right, he's lost his cover, but he's not damaged, which can be very bad because that thin man's going to put a shot on him. Yep. Oh wow, that would that should have hit. I I don't know what to say, guys. That's it. Bunch up nice and close for the rocket. All right, so Robo's gotten a real lucky, and he's going to return the favor. Bye. I uh, want to aim and get that conduit in as well. That's one, two, three, all of them plus the conduit. Going hot. And boom. That conduit is disabled. All right, so Keep that was slightly one. off target. Um, weren't really expecting that to happen. So let's move Zhao there because she'll get a shot now. She's only got one target and it's the sectoid. Better than nothing. I would have taken nothing actually. That was a terrible nice. miss. So let's put Martin, who's aye got aye, a full magazine here. He can shoot on one or two of them, whatever's got the highest. It's at 89%, 75. Let's take the thin men out. Alright, let's just thin men down. And let's take. Yeah, set to it down too. Cool. So that makes sure that all our guys are alive and well. Now, the next set of troops that we need to be worried about are on the other sides of these doors. Um, I'm going to go left. Generally, I have a bit more of an events crew and also six members when I do this mission. So I'm a little down on my normal powerhouse. Um, so I'm going to be going all five on the left hand side and then once they've cleared left, they're going to sweep right. Also to get in the way of the, On the move. I don't want him to get run through the um, thin man poison. Uh, I can't afford them to get injured any more than they already are. Don't so move Zahara there. She's going to take point at the moment, even though she's the sniper. But we're not going to move her any more forward than that. Uh, let's move him to Heading there and out. reload him as well. And before tra traversing onto the next reload. section, I'm going to try and reload all my guys, um, all my units, just because I want them to be able to be effective in the Probably. next room without having the need to reload them. So a little annoyed that that rocket Hostiles missed, because... Way, one. For contact. Shouldn't be any hitting that way. Oh, okay. I forgot about that one. Uh, I'll go with the headshot because if it crits, it'll kill it. And if it hits, it would have done some damage. <laughs> Alright, so the creature's got a little bit of a way to travel. We can still travel at a reasonable distance now. because it's got to completely go around to get us. 70% chance we'll take some damage at least. So, cool. Negative Bend the muffin. So I'm going to try and set my guys up so they're far enough away Position so this confirmed. thing actually does make it towards us. We got a lot of overwatch oh, shots on it so that we can hopefully stop it from getting into melee combat with us because that's where it uh, is its strongest, those chrysalids. They're ridiculous in melee and they can also raise your units as zombies so we could effectively be dealing with a whole bunch of bad guys if we mess this section up. I know it's only one 
and it's gonna go the other way around and come and attack Zahara. Crap, I did not see that coming. And the closest one is Zhao. Uh, Zahara's got a 47% chance to hit. Uh, so let's leave her for the last shot. Let's move him to there. On the move. And Zhao, who's the closest member besides that, who's out of ammo. So that's why we didn't use her. Five damage from there. Switch Zahara to the pistol because it should be like a 100% chance to hit for doing one damage. There's that one damage. Here they come. But the unfortunate thing is it also opened up the door before we were ready. Um, this is going to go pear shaped and pears aren't really good shapes when it comes to this. 81% chance on Thin Man, let's take it. Thank you, Robo. Love your work. Um, let's move her there because it gives her full cover and also gives her a chance to reload without dying. I'm going to move him there because I have a feeling that that will benefit us. I'm going to say Battle Scanner. Uh, yes, I know that it's there, but I also know that it usually comes with a couple more friends. So I just want to be able to see into that area to know what's coming. Alright, so that's our turnover. And this little power disc thing is heading to the right. Why is it going that way? Unless it's got a targeted shot on... There we go. So these things are pretty powerful, and there's a bit of proof. So I was my only person with a med pack, so that guy's dead. We're not getting him back anytime soon, or ever. He's going to die because we're not going to complete this game in three turns. Four conduits left to do. Sahara put some damage on, which is nice. We'll put Martin there. Here they come. And unfortunately we also activate another thin man. Hmm, Alright, so at the moment we're just sort of looking at getting through this unscathed. We're going to take out the thin man. Oh, we're not going to do anything. Thanks, Martin. <laughs> you useless SOB. This might be a wipe. I have to take down the thing, man. Oh my god. Guys, this is gonna end poorly. A couple of really bad on shots. Um, one dude down. We're down to four. <sighs> so, Thin Man should go forward and take a lot of hit points off one of my dudes to be followed up. Yep, there we go, two. That's not too bad. Usually it's four. And then this thing will move into melee and do a spin attack. Oh no, it's not. It's just going to do its powerful shot. Oh my god, it missed. Wow. Alright. Talk about a bit of luck, because now we can grenade them both. Um, it's just an effect of 6 damage overall, which is really good. Five. No, 6. Uh, Zao got a promotion. Um, just because... I didn't realize he was out of ammo. Otherwise, Rock I would have used away. the rocket beforehand. That's a miss. Still did the damage, thank God for that. Now we can breathe. Heading to that location. Um, I'm going to spend this turn reloading Back and online. moving my troop down. Mainly because I know that there are a couple that drop in on Overwatch after you deactivate the terminals. So just move the camera to there. I seriously thought that was going to go a lot worse than it actually did. Um, I wish I'd saved Zao's grenade now. So let's reload her. Let's move him to there. Um, I'm still grateful that the one, if I had to lose a team member that wasn't one of the guys with you know, ridiculously good
good shooting stats. Move him to the move. there. Reload there. That on my turn. He dies. Hard disarms. Disabled, but you've got three more to go. All right, cool. So we didn't get any Overwatch dudes. Oh, I just Moving got a bad feeling about going over here. Right, Sahara, I need you to do a full movement. Oh, great. Double time. All right. No, she can't spot anybody who's a danger. We'll move him to there. Location confirmed. We'll move Martin, Mr. Collateral, to the actual node because he's got Sprinter, which means he can move like six extra t uh, tiles per turn. Ah, oh, here we are. Now they do it. And I've moved all my guys away from where they were. So that guy's on Overwatch. I'm going to have to rely on Zahara to take him down. Oh, at least... I'm going to hit that one. Oh, man, Zahara hasn't got a shot on the other guy. That's another conduit down. You only need to deactivate two more. Alright, Thomas gets that kill. Overwatch. Put her on Overwatch. Come Put him on Overwatch. Roger. Her on Overwatch. On. Force the thin men to come to me. Here he is. He's moved. Sahara gets a reaction shot. It's at like a negative 20 aim. So we'll miss. Um, all, as all reaction shots are at a huge negative to shoot. But you got to remember that they're out in the open. Oh man. Watch the flanks. Four damage on Sahara, that's not what we wanted. And there's another guy coming in there by the looks of it. No, it's the sector, thank God for that. But he's on Overwatch. Ah, oh, cool. He's dead. Nice. Overwatch comes in handy. Alright, Sahara. 46% chance. Oh, yeah, cutscene kill. Nice. Alright, so we we'll move Tom over there and reload. It's killing time. We're gonna move Zao there, there as well and also reload. And you can just see that I'm, um, you know, I'm doing my normal cautious movements. You guessed it, boys and girls. You've got hostiles inbound. Stay frosty. Alright, so there's two conduits left. We've got a sector on one side, which is good, and a melee combatant brute on the other. I'm on it, Commander. I'm gonna reload Zahara's Let's weapon rock. and Robo's We're weapon. And hit Overwatch. Hit Roger. Overwatch, I've and then next turn I'm gonna open the door and go for it. Use Zahara early to take out the sectoid, hopefully. Alright, what have we got? Sectoid and a brute. She's got um, only one target. It's the sectoid. Alright, Martin. You're my crash test dummy. Let's put you there. Okay. And that way you can flank. Yep, cool. That's what I thought. Overwatch. I didn't want to run Zhao out there just on the off chance that the sectoid killed her with a critical hit, followed by the Brute's attack. He's... Ooh, season one. Damn. Alright, we can effectively end this in the next couple of turns, just because of the way everything goes. So he's going to stay there. Zhao's going to move there. Sahara's only got a shot on the sectoid, so we're going to give her the sectoid shot. Nice. Because she can't move and shoot with that weapon. He's got a shot on the brute. Crit! Nice! Alright. So 
So let's give her the kill because she needs experience. And she needs the experience more than Thomas Martin. Um, and you know what? I'm not going to move him. I'm going to overwatch him. Just yeah. I thought the hostiles might be dropping in. Oh, he, oh, Martin's dead. How did he, yeah, I was going to say, how did that overwatch not occur? Alright, Martin's earned a promotion, which is cool if he survives his mission. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm being fa playing fast and loose with a couple okay. of my experienced guys, which is not normal for me. Conduit down. Only one more to go. Take that out and the ship is ours. We can expect more hostiles. So, Overwatch, he's on one hit point. Sahara needs to be in a position where she can shoot next turn, so let's move her there. And that's the problem with the sniper, you need to be able to think ahead for their turns and go, where will I need them next turn? Where are they likely to be used next turn? I'm going to put Zhao there, because it gives her cover from the other continent area, which is where they're more than likely going to drop in. I'm and also to move Robinson up and putting everybody on overwatch just in case something drops. Like nothing yet. Martin, you're the quickest. You're the only one who can make it over there. Oh, we might have gotten out of this with only one casualty. Yes, yes, it's true, we did. That ship is now officially under Wow. Although I don't think it will fit in That was um incredibly hard. Well, at least I thought it was difficult, um, and that would be because it took along two rookies. <laughs> um, a rookie and a squaddy. Commander, oh, cutscene. Our intelligence sources indicate that a previously unknown organization is attempting to undermine XCOM field operations. We believe this group harbors some misguided sympathies for the invaders and is intent on acquiring alien technology and artifacts critical to your efforts. Early reports indicate this organization calls itself Exalt. We trust you will isolate the source of this new threat and eliminate it. Commander, the Council has provided some additional resources to help us deal with these traitors. We can begin scanning for additional Exalt cell locations and launch covert operations to disrupt their activity via the Situation Room. Finally, we've gotten our hands at Exalt. Um, according to a lot of the web, Exalt is a bit of a joke. Uh, four promotions. Well, that's understandable. It was a difficult mission. Yeah, we had one person on their first mission who got five kills. Wow. She's an assault class. That makes sense. Um, cool. Alright, so... Yeah, she went up by five. That's ridiculous. Uh, it's considering a... That's the maximum you can get for an assault class her level. So she's doing really well in terms of aim. Um, so Exalt's a bit of a joke according to a lot of people on the web. Um, they've got really low squad site needed for the way I play at least. Bring them on. Resilience. That's when we manage critical hits. He's not going to be doing a lot of critical hits. Let's go Resilience. Um, because uh, they've got low stats, they're worse than most rookies. Wow, look at that. 300 Aurelium, 500 Alien Alloys, 6 UFO Flight Computers, 5 Power Sources, 2 Fusion Cores. Wow, that was awesome. Remember, we will be We're going to sell a bunch of that right now. <laughs> Alright, down to 3, down to 3, down to 3, down to 3. Uh, I'm just gonna go down to 300. Oh, fuck it, 250. Uh, 275. Um, you need it in the overall terms of the game, but at the moment I need finances. Same with the alien, alien allies. Like, I used to sell these all the time on my other one. Um, I ended up having, like, more than I knew what to do with. But that was not the case for weapon fragments. Uh, UFOs are flight computers. I think I'll hold on to them just for now. I know I sold them earlier, but look, I'm getting 576 so far out of all of that. So I'm going to hold on to them now because we can't expect another. Oh shit, Germany's also gone up. Bye, hell. 
Alright, um, covert ops. Let's have a look at this. Intel scanned cost of 50. Let's uh, do that. Worldwide sweep will cost 50. Intel scan complete. So we've Passage managed to find on exalt cell locations. two. So we're going to go to Germany just because I hope it'll help with their um, panic level being max. Um, we're just trying to choose on who we're going to pick for this because you can get a lot of experience for um, get a lot of experience for doing the op being the Towards operative. I, he's got Gunslinger, which I probably shouldn't have taken, but I've got... He's just got Squad Sight, he's also got Headshot. He's also got... Yeah, alright, so we're going to send Martinez just because we've got not too many other options. I'm also going to send him in there with a med kit because he has that benefit of being able to heal somebody else or heal himself um, in that section. I'm oh, sorry, I just went back when I should have gone forward. We've been send up operative on mission. See you later, dude. Some nut calling himself Commander Straker has been all over the news ranting about shadow operatives. Um. I'm doing okay for satellites at the moment. Let's build slash items. Oh, we got light plasma pit rifles. Alright, let's build. Let's, let's build three. Three should be enough um, for the moment. Just because they add plus 10 to hit, which is going to be a little bit useful for some of my guys who don't have the, the ability to hit effectively. To work in the lab. Um, so we're going to hire six new guys um, as well and try and get some soldiers up. Uh, how far am I off? Tensor pause 14 days. So we'll hold on to the credits we do have just in case. Um, I want to spend my meld, but at the same time I know that I shouldn't. I know I should be holding on to it for later in the game. Um, just so that way I can maybe do a mech and also put it on guys who have... Oops. Alright, so we will come back and do this exalt operation for the next episode. See you next time, guys. This is Matt from Armstrong Gaming. I hope you are enjoying this series. If you are, be sure to check out Series 2, which is just started, which is based more on troop manipulation to get those guys with 80s, um, kind of like Robinson and also Zhao. We want guys like that who are leveling up ridiculous amounts. You've already seen that with one rank, Zhao already has better aim than what my previous best sniper. That's the sort of stuff that we're talking about. Uh, manipulating in the other series. So if you want to learn about how to get the best troops, you need to watch the other series. This series will do a little bit of it, but it won't go as in-depth. As always, take care and have a good day. See you next time, guys.